show starts in Hello and welcome to Beer Chat. This is a today a test version for me. I want to try out a new weekly live stream. Usually I'm trying to do it on Friday, but it could be on the Thursday too. It depends. This I had so far two live streams and I was beyond happy about the outcome. So I'm actually eager just to make it smaller, but having the same amount of fun. It goes about an hour, give or take, but Tonight I want to try in a few beers and if I have some time also do some um, I want to do some um, reaction videos so we'll see how the day goes so for the first thing comes in mind I want to try out today is a beer I've never heard of that and when I went to the store I, they even told me like yeah this is a brand new beer we have so we don't even know how that's going to be so in this case it it is actually a or dog brewing company it's a blonde belgian style beer there you got up sorry up there the picture of it it is quite interesting if i may say it is um it is a belgian style ale but it literally got 8% alcohol in there. So it is significantly high for the suppression air. So I'm eager to try it out. Let's try it for that. I started because of my uh, green screen in, in the back. You can, uh, the bars is hard to see. So I'm having you now them always displayed up. So that we should uh, probably do it. So let me open the bottle. I should open the right bottle. That might do. There you go. What's a nice pop? Oh, I don't know if you heard the pop. So let me get me my glass and let's try it out. Take a look at it. All right. So it, it does have a beautiful color to it. I have to say. Actually, quite similar to the one up there. So there I see. Oh, it got really st like strong kind of smell to it. So there, so I'm actually definitely eager to figure out about this. So let me just. Uh, I hope the uh, audio everything is okay. Let me just double check, make sure everything is good to go. Strong kind of smell to it. So. So I'm actually definitely eager to figure out about this. Okay, so far I can hear pretty good everything. And if you if you're some going to have some issues, let me know. It says test me I got about three percent dropped frames. So I don't know if that makes a difference really. So definitely keep me in mind and double check. Um, let me know in the chat if there's issues with that. Okay. So let's just try it out. So here is the beer. So first of all, the, the smell of it is actually quite significantly good. So yeah, it does really. Okay, I think I found out what the problem was. I think it seemed like my sister was recording and streaming together. I don't need to do both because, well, I'm already doing both. Sort of. So let's try, I mean, let's try it out. I mean, the smell is always quite strong and uh, you get really the L kind of, kind of flavor. So if... It 
it got a super flavor to it. You got really the crisp of an ale. It is not overpowering. I mean, I like a nice and bitter in the style. I like it. This is nice and, in my opinion, nice and um, bitter because I am a big, huge fan for bitter, uh, bitter ones. So, so far, that is definitely, in my opinion, my number one choice. So, at the moment, therefore, a beer I've never heard about them. So let me check from where they are from. Uh, just bear with me. Where did they from? Did I even specify? Oh, actually it's from Michigan. It's actually from the UP, from Marquette. I had no idea. I learned something new. Welcome, Mr. Micro Mike. Welcome to my my very first weekly live stream. I hope you have some beer with you because we are going to try some out. <laughs> so I'm trying right now that all the deck blonde, it's Belgian style. So it's from Marquette actually. That's actually a really good, really good beer, really good beer. It gives me. Some kind of apple flavor to it it does not really specify on the bottle right now if there is some apple in there but i get the apple flavor to it and it is like delicious i mean it is i wish i could get it more here but surprisingly it is not that often here i mean the liquor store i was in was just barely brand new then even the cashier did not know nothing about that beer so they asked me to give them a review, so I told them, come watch my YouTube channel, <laughs> make it easy, <laughs> we can live life together. So let me just try it one more time, I mean, this is a beautiful color, I mean, in uh, one second, and the tradition said, in place of consideration, the air before you binds the flavorful promise of a union between French malt and the Belgian yeast. I don't know if I could say that with uh, uh, it's a mix between both of them, but I can I can definitely taste the yeast out of it. So it's definitely quite stronger, a little bit, and it is definitely with eight percent. Like for a normal Belgian ale, eight percent is unheard of. I've never had a that strong ale before, other than when I have like a Belgian IPA from. New Year's Eve, that, that was uh, for uh, for an ale. This is significantly high, and for a blood ale, for the matter of fact, yeah. Uh, but it is actually surprisingly good. And here in Michigan, I only paid a dollar seventy nine plus taxes for that. So from the from the one bottle, you cannot not, not complain about it at all. So it's a. Uh, How's the, how's the picture to you guys? Is it still good? So far, I can see so far is good, but it, it gives me always a little more a red message. So hopefully, there's no lagging in the picture. As I said, today is my first time, so for me, this is a little bit of a test too. If I have to make some changes or so. If you have not yet, please come into my social media. I'm Beer Chat is on Facebook, Twitter. And I revamped my Discord, so I can. Well, let me. I should have probably had them before, it, but everything was so quick because I had some issues again with my. Um, I had some issues today with my software a little bit. Okay, great. Thanks, Mike. I'm, I appreciate you letting me know because. Uh, because he gave me some of the uh, red messages, so I was quite worried that it would be bad, but I'm glad it's not the case. So let me show you. This is... This is my Discord. Now if you want to join me, it's all revamped perfectly for a nice beer community. So... I, I, I took very pride of it. It took me an entire night to make it perfect as I wanted to be. So let me just give it another try. Uh, 
All right, let's stop the music for a second. And while I'm drinking, because I don't want to waste, uh, drink too fast, because I don't want to get too drunk within this, this hour. What? But um, one thing I want to do is definitely is trying something out. Um, I do a reaction video. Yepper, so let's go to the other scene. Oh, here we go. And here we have another Darwin's um, beer. So, should be. Let's try. Let's check it out how things are going with Darwin. And this is another Treehouse beer. Um, I guess you guys probably know how much I'm a big fan of their beers. Got some proper glassware. And we have here Present Moment. Um, this is their 5.4% uh, pale ale. And it is brewed with Southern Hemisphere hops. So I believe, uh, yeah, prob most definitely it is New Zealand and Australian hops. I don't know exactly which hops they use. I assume something maybe something like uh, Nelson, uh, maybe something like... Um, New Zealand hops. Interesting. Interesting. What's another one? Ella? Ella's another one. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, I don't have all of them off the top of my head of uh, Southern Hemisphere hops, but... First of all, for context, uh, I found out like he is very technical, Mr. Darwin. Found out he is actually a beer Cicerone. Apparently that is a... I did Google it because at first I just know like Cicerone and that is a food or uh, well, pork right but it is actually a beer expert that no uh, it's like a school you, you can go through and it's it'd be an expert in knowing and brewing and everything together so so he's very technical because well he knows his stuff they make amazing beers i'm um, really excited to see obviously they're canning now um, with the 30 bar 30 barrel system so yeah uh pour this beer out wow look at that gorgeous beer pours out almost like a um, watered down juice and it looks actually like juice uh I just wanted to say the same thing it sure looks like uh, a mix between orange juice and a little um, 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 what is it about orange juice and a little bit of banana juice or grape juice or something Give it a take. All right, no problem, Mike. It was nice uh, you coming in here. Hopefully, you have some some time coming on a little later. Uh, look at that color. Um, <clears throat> sorry, green looks similar to this. It is so hazy. Um, it's just a peachy yellow orange. Um, I mean, that is just gorgeous. I, I I can show you guys more. It's just absolutely amazing color. Look at that golden slight yeah. touch of orange in there but just a really nice bright golden yellow kind of color it's completely opaque wonderful head on that let's get the aroma <laughs> yes oh man i haven't had a, a great hoppy beer i guess maybe okay i saw a lot of beer videos before but this is the first time somebody is getting quite Found about the smelly part. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I, I've reviewed. Uh, I, I don't remember the last one I reviewed, but wow. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I had a treehouse beer, so. Holy smokes, that is nuts. Uh, the website describes it as juicy fruit, pineapple, and passion fruit, I believe. Spot on tasting notes from, I guess, the brewer. Um, there's something about the treehouse beers, their yeast, the yeast that they're using has this wonderful fruity ester that is, again, juicy fruit. It smells like bubble gum. Um, not bubble gum, yeah, juicy fruit. If you know that, bubble, uh, that gum, it smells like that. Wonderful bouquet of tropical fruit, a little bit of orange, a little bit of orange juice. Pineapple, passion fruit, as they suggest on the website. A touch of bready malt, a little bit of, um, wow, it's just like candy. Um, think of something like... Uh, Gobstoppers, just aggressive candy like uh, fruit flavors. Amazing stuff. Cheers, guys. <sighs> he's having it. He's, that he's is getting there. Nuts. He's getting there. Treehouse is so freaking good. Um, guys. 
Oh my God, this is so good. Um, one of the best pale ales I've ever had at 5.4. This is one of the best hoppy beers at 5.4. It might be the best. This is 5.4. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that is the best under 6% hoppy beer I've had. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Solid statement right there. I can reasonably say that. Yeah, holy smokes. Up front. I mean, the first thing, the initial impression is that it is chewy and it has a wonderful medium mouthfeel. If you gave this to me blind, I would imagine it's a straight IPA, somewhere around six and a half, seven percent. Instead, it's multiple points below that on ABV. It's five four, and it is so. It's delicious. It has a medium mouthfeel. It's really uh, drinks above its ABV. Again, that huge juicy fruit kind of flavor. Um, Again, it tastes like candy. Um, the essence of tropical candy, you know, that kind of flavor. A lot of uh, orange flavors. On the website, I believe they say grapefruit and orange rind. Really wonderful tr uh, a transitioning of citrus flavors. You get a kind of, again, that kind of candy-like tropical flavor, that uh, juicy fruit bubble gum. And then you move on to this uh, wonderful note of, again, oranges, and then like actual oranges. So like... like bubble gum. That is something to think of. Interesting. I honestly, it was so sweet. I'm really eager to try it if I wish I could get it here. Oh, I, to, I mean, the thing is, like, I felt, <laughs> excuse me, I felt a lot of places. I, I mean, Treehouse beer, I've heard about it before on, a, on other YouTube channels. And I've so it is around. I just never have a chance to get one. So I might have to persuade some of my cashiers at my local liquor store to see if they have something. Pure orange zest, a little bit of grapefruit. It has an interesting transition from candy to pure fruit. Juiciness as well. Juicy, juicy, like orange juice. Yeah, a nice kind of bitterness. Um, again, these, are, these New England beers are very soft on bitterness instead. You get the, the bitterness of the fruit, but not really hoppy bitterness. So nothing that really drags on the palate. Really does, does drink like a pale ale. Not too much bitterness. Really nice and clean and dry on the back end. A little touch of white bready malt, uh, that kind of uh, Vermont, New England kind of malt bill. Throughout, I'm getting, oh man, passion fruit. A little touch of mango. A little bit of like pineapple juice mango. thing going on. I thought I said pineapple, but that looks more like mango. That was it. Wonderful juicy fruit, like gummy flavors. Um, the yeast is just shining through. The hops are absolutely fantastic. Don't know what hops they're using, but it is fantastic. If anything, I would guess this was something like a combination of Amarillo, Citra, and not Mosaic, maybe a touch of Galaxy. Oh, yeah, okay, so there you go, Galaxy. That's another Southern Hemisphere hop. Probably Galaxy's in here, yeah. How do they get it so juicy, though? I'm really curious what the hop, uh, what hops they're using. That yeah. Push, pushes yeah, such a juicy hop flavor. Um, because hops galaxy, is usually yeah, more bitter. Yeah, something like that. Um, oh, I also get a touch of cantaloupe, a little bit of melon uh, flavor. It's just a really bright kind of tropical citrus, melony kind of hop profile. The aroma is absolutely absurd. The mouthfeel is amazing, nice and clean, dry. You get a fruity bitterness, but there's no real bitterness behind it. This beer drinks multiple uh, points of ABV above. Again, four five. I would guess this was something like six five, seven, seven plus percent. Uh, this is the best under a uh, six percent hoppy beer I've had. Yeah, it's better than Zombie Dust. It's better than Pseudo Sue. It's better than Galaxy Four Point. This beer is absolutely amazing. Even better than the Hill Farm said beers. Oh wait. Um, Hill Farm said Mosaic. Sorry if I'm rambling so much. Hill Farm said Mosaic is probably around up here, but this is absolutely amazing. This is present <coughs> moment from Treehouse. Um, this beer gets a 94 on Beer Advocate. That's way too low. This is one of the best. Yeah, okay. 100 plus. This is one of the best uh, hoppy beers around. Um, for its ABV, there's, you know, you can separate it from pale ale to IPA to double IPA to triple IPA. This is one of the best in the style. 100 plus top tier hoppy beer. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know if people are trading for this. People are probably looking for something like Green or Julius, some of the more name known treehouse beers. This one is absolutely amazing. It is stellar. 100 plus rating from me. Let me know what you think. Um, 
a present moment if you've had it from Treehouse or if you've been to Treehouse or what you think about Treehouse beers in general. Until next time, guys, cheers. I'm excited about this beer. This is amazing. Later. All right, he is having it on with this Treehouse beer. So how he advertised this, ladies and gentlemen, I am very eager. Well, let's just say to see where it goes. So here we go back. Uh, I mean, let's check out this older dock is from Marquette, Michigan. It was actually really smooth beer for 8%. It was smooth. Um, literally, I think it became a new number for me with this beer. So I'm very happy about this. But again, this one hour I'm, I'm planning on being online goes by very fast. I found it out when I did my initial um, like six hour long New Year's Eve party. It goes very fast. So we, need to, we have to keep going. If you have not yet, subscribe to my channel. Like this uh, live stream and share me. We, I want to grow up a community and I can do it only with your help. So let's do, the, do it all together. I want having the best beer channel or beer community there is. Now, of course, with some help with Oma or other beer advocates, beer um, chicharrones, cicerones, my apologies. Chicharron, cicerron, what is the difference, right? Haha, <laughs> a lot. Don't quote me on this case right now, guys. <laughs> All right, so my next beer will be a from founders. I have the Blushing Monk. So here is a bottle. Okay, yeah, you cannot really not see it, unfortunately. Sorry, uh, but yeah, it is a, the uh, the Blushing Monk. It's. It got 9% alcohol. Whoa, today I'm going really with high stuff. And it's, it is, again, a Belgium style ale. That's what that's we consider because I was not looking at the what ale it is. I was just grabbing things I've never had it before, so I'm, I'm going to try it. And I'm eager to see that. What a coincidence. It's the same thing. What? So, if by the way, while we were watching Darwin, I've put in a link in my, in the chat over there, or down there, or wherever you have it, uh, on your side. I'm the, if you see this T-shirt, you can have it yourself. Now with my logo on there, with me, and I have like a sweat, uh, nice hoodie sweater too, and I got some other great things. So come in there, check it out, and if you like it, let's get some merch. Even I, I will get me some more merch too. By the way. So, I hope I have to be careful because the last few times I was recording for beer and I was making, because it was just <laughs> squirting up like crazy. So I was like, I'm so, like you don't, you don't see it, but it was a mess. Like I smelled beer for, for a long time. So the blush lung is fermented with raspberries. So... If you see on the on the picture on the top right corner, it looks like a little more reddish, pink, no rosé, rosa. You name it, they they all it looks almost the same. So let's get a bit pouring down. Oh yeah, I definitely see the beautiful color to it. All right. There's something you can see is definitely a little darker than you see on the on the picture in the screen, uh, but it still looks really nicely. Re looks really good. So uh, it's got a beautiful color to it. Uh, like if you see the color, the first thing comes in mind: fruits, fruity, raspberry. Is definitely in there. So, yeah, I definitely smell a very a hint of raspberries. A hint. Yes, a hint only. Surprisingly, I don't know uh, why, but it is. Why is it? Why only hint? I am not fully understanding. Because. It, if it's with this color, you expect it's full powering, hardcore, let's get going, right? Uh, yeah, not really, but 
it is what it is, I guess. Uh, let me just double check, just to make sure I got the right information. Yeah, you got 9.2% alcohol in there. It's a 20 AB, IBU, so it is actually not that bitter with IBU, so that's definitely something to go by. Do, do, do. So let's give, it, let's give it a try, ladies and gentlemen. Prost, Freunde. Oh, why? That is a smooth flavor. It gives you actually... The smell is not, not that strong of a raspberry. But we're tasting. It is actually very smooth. It, it gives, if I close my eyes like this, I'm looking and tasting. And I'm getting a full, 100% flavor, full raspberry juice. I know better because it's a Belgian style ale. No, but it is 9% alcohol, so it's not for children. So, by the way, if you're underage, don't drink. Important message from me. <laughs> but, uh, but, but either way, like it is, it sure look, uh, it doesn't look like a beer. It it sure looks like a juice. Did you ever had one? Did you ever had a blushing monk before from Founders? Let me know, know in the chat. I'm very curious. And if you do, how was it? How was the blush bank for you? For me, it is actually really good. Thing good. I don't want to say it's good as good as my brew dog from um, New Year's Eve because I'm a big fan of brew dog, and for, uh, no, but it is actually really good. Hey, and welcome to Beer Chat. Thanks so much for tuning in. So, right now, we are trying the Founders Blushing Monk. So, if I had it, how was it? Oh. Yeah, it's 9.2% alcohol in there, but you don't taste it. Oh. All the time, I forgot. My music's not running. Whoopsie. There you go. So, yeah, this is definitely a beautiful flavor to it. It is, let me just double check on the bottle. According to Faunas, when our love of fruit and our love of beer come together, Blushing Monk happens. Brewed with a ridiculous amount of raspberries for a tart yet luscious raspberry jam character. Yeah, I definitely agree. Like, it is definitely, the taste is full blown raspberries but when you smell it when you just uh, double check then you have the hint of raspberries but not full power like the flavor so it's amazing what the difference it is wow you got really the crisp flavor to it yeah i don't know they're talking about like a jam like a, uh what is, what is a uh a t uh, tart yet luscious raspberry jam character. Yeah, I I don't know what the, what they're talking about with that one, but it's definitely there. There, like it is delicious for a live, lovely, lovely raspberry beer for a nice Belgian style ale. The, and the color, yeah. I don't want to go as crazy as Darwin just did in my reaction video just now. No, that's by smelling it because you don't smell this strongness, but definitely the fruitiness is in there. It, I would say, give it a try. Have you tried it before? If not, give it a try. Um, I'm, I'm not sure where in the country you can buy it all. I've heard you can buy it very far. Hell, founders even have as a brewery in Germany, which I did not know. I mean, I know now because I did. Some of you told me about it, so I did my research on that one. But before that, I thought it was just out of base, out of Grand Rapids, the brewery. Well, I think they're going more and more. So I definitely found them in areas I've never thought you can buy them there. So if you have it, here you try. Just be careful. Again, it's nine point two percent alcohol in there, so it's there. It's quite strong. So 
You better not drive after you drank that one. Another thing from Beer Chat. What? Oh. <laughs> Alright. So while, again, I don't want to, to rush everybody here because we have to kind of rush on everything. But I want to go over pretty quick and do, uh, while I'm drinking sl slowly, do another reaction video if you like. So let's go to the other side. All right, you know that guy? He has, by the way, another video with us, with me right now. Oop. Hold on. Why am I so hidden? Uh, hold on one second. I, don't, I, I always hate to be hidden. There we are. Here we are. All right. So let Darwin talk about this time with a nice a Goose Island Oktoberfest. Yes, it's no January. I know it's not Oktoberfest. Sorry, but it is definitely it's definitely still there. Uh, always my favorite time to have a. Um, Beer, so I could drink a Merzen all day long if it's up to me. I really. but unfortunately, it's a seasonal beer, so you I cannot even buy it everywhere. Da, da, da. All right, let's get it started on with a nice Marts and Goose Island Oktoberfest review. Festbier, which is a BJCP style, which is different from Merzen. The Festbier is similar to the Merzen, but just lighter. So this is their Merzen beer that they call Festbier. And you can see in the color, it has a little bit more of this kind of um, darker color, medium amber and kind of like toasty yeah. kind of color. Whereas the Festbier is actually a pretty light beer. It's like a uh, pale gold uh, color. So it's a little bit confusing. Um, you know, this is the certified Cicerone of me going a little like confused and annoyed about it. It's sort of like, calling a beer Hefweizen when it's really a Wit beer, right? Like, there's obviously specific, like, styles here, and they're sort of calling the Festbier, uh, wait, calling the Merzen a Festbier. Anyway, you can check out some of my videos and uh, get a better explanation about that, but... There is definitely a difference. A Festbier is not a Merzen, by the way. A Merzen is a beer like, here, like Goose Island, Oktoberfest beer, or, like, but Oktoberfest, Oktoberfest beer in general is normally a Merzen beer. A Fest beer is something totally different. It is actually a normal lager beer from a, a German uh, brew house like Paulana, Hofbräu, uh, and uh, there are so many. There. But the, 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 the would differentiate from normal beer in Germany and the Fest beer. It's usually a fest beer is at least 1% more alcohol content. You usually have a similar flavor to it. Like I tried Hofbräu House normal beer and a fest beer. The flavor content is not so much of difference, but the alcohol contact is different because I'm not sure if you're aware of, I'm sorry if I'm not going off right now, but I don't know if you're aware of it, is um, in Germany, they have called a Reinheitsgebot, a purity law, where they have a certain strict rules. Excuse me. They have a certain strict rules for um, yeast, water, and hops. So that is uh, the certain rules. Uh, all the beers under the purity law has to have this uh, amount, a certain amount in there. Uh, but because of, of Oktoberfest, they were able to gain more alcohol content to it. So usually you you pay more, but you get more, if you if it makes sense. Uh, so if you see Oktoberfest, it's a Merzen, not, not a Fest beer. Anyway, this is sort of the American um, interpretation of what you drink at Oktoberfest, whereas yeah. in actual Oktoberfest in Munich, you'd be drinking a paler, strong, um, golden lager called Festbier. Cool. But anyway, beer comes in this exactly. beautiful uh, medium, uh, amber colored, deep gold. Let's get the aroma on this one. Mm, smells familiar. Nice Munich malt. It's got this nice breadiness, a little bit of a uh, caramelly kind of sweetness that you see 20 and C40 here in our belief. A little bit of like, yeah, it just has that classic kind of 
hit, uh, slightly spicy kind of quality, but really just nice, deep, uh, toasty, bready, rich Munich malt character. Cheers. Mm, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, it does what it does. It sort of tastes... All right, stupid question. And again, nothing against Darwin. But uh, when I try this beer, do you hear all the swallow I, I'm doing? Uh, or is it just his uh, audio right now? Because it seems like for every uh, swallow he's doing, uh, you can hear. If you can hear for me, I'm sorry. It's like that crushable, um, higher ABV lager style that they're going for. This one comes in at 5.7% in general, the beer, um, the beer generally comes in at 58 to 6.3%, uh, but it's still right in the range. But yeah, it has exactly what you're looking for. Really rich, kind of just like uh, uh, crusty bread qualities, a little bit of sweetness. Maybe a touch of like dark fruit dancing in there, a little bit of spiciness, actually not that much bitterness on this one. You really uh, wish that the, the malt depth sort of digged into the palate a little bit more, making it a little bit more fuller on the palate, but it offers drinkability instead by cutting it a little bit more short. I also wish it was a little bit more snappy on the bitterness, but granted, you don't want this style to be uh, bitter. You really want the um, malts to show through. Um, but yeah, I like that there's a little bit of dark fruit. Really, obviously, you don't want it to be sweet either. It shouldn't have that kind of caramelly kind of character. That's when you've gotten your merits in too far. This one is dry. It's nice. It's exactly what you're looking for. Um, yeah, I mean, if you gave this to me blind, I would, would have guessed it was German traditional. Like, I don't know if I am too familiar with the style enough to say that, oh yeah, this is not traditional German uh, medicine. This one is an American example of it. Very nice. Um, as for rating, let's go with... I like it. 87. Sure, why not? <laughs> this is good beer. Uh, you know, in the mood, it's getting cold real fast and in the mood for a little bit stronger uh, lager, a little bit more full malt character. Absolutely delicious. Shout out to Us Silent. Until next time, cheers. All right. That was Mr... Thanks, my man. Thanks so much. And thanks, my man, for tuning in today. I'm very happy you could join me on my very first live stream on my... No, I have to repair, uh, correct myself. On my very first weekly live stream. That is the premiere today. I did twi two live streams before. But it was like a special occasions. But this one is actually for me special. Alright. So are we ready for number next beer? We have to rush a little. So if I'm too fast I'm sorry. So this one is again from founders I have. It's going to be quite thicker. So we'll see how I'm surviving this one. Mm -hmm. I have the Underground Mountain Brown. It is a Imperial Brown Ale brewed with Sumatra coffee aged in bourbon barrel. It sounds really heavy. It sounds gonna be gonna be heavy one. Good that I already ate before and it is uh, eleven point nine percent, so it's significantly um, high. So let me just give it a try. Like it is. When you when I'm seeing a bourbon barrel age, first thing comes to mind is a New Holland Dragon's Milk, for some odd reason. So let me just open it up. Hopefully it doesn't squirt all over. So, so here is a bottle. Oh, this one is actually quite good on a, uh, in a picture. So, but either way, I got it up here in a better way to go. So let's. Pull, pull it in. All right, the first thing I'm noticing it's very dark. Holy smokes! Yeah, it is definitely quite darkness. Uh, dark beer looks like darker than the picture I have up there. Interesting. So it is like what the what is Fono saying? It's an underground mountain brew. It's a harmonious drinking experience only achieved. And our repair bond air, earthy Sumatra coffee, and then the year uh, aging in caves below Grand Rapids comes together. Wait, it is a year. A year aging. But this is a 2020 edition. How is it possible? Because a year ago, oh, 
Boo! It's 2021 now. I'm sorry. But uh, it is actually like, it was definitely, let me see when it was bottled. It was bottled actually on October. October? No. August 28th. Jeez. This two beers already makes me already quite woo. -woo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not that far yet. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it is definitely in August 28th was uh, it was bottled. So it has been in the bottle now for a few months. So definitely a good time just to give it a try. Like a darker beers, usually best ser uh, serving temperature is usually not as cold as you want normal beer. Normally, like normal beer, you like it in uh, nice 30 degrees or something or 32 to 38 degrees normally if it's nice air nice lager but a nice target beer you want a bit warmer not as warm as the british do and i know what you're trying to say germans drink the beer cold i know i lived in germany <laughs> all right so oh yeah so the first thing i'm smelling the very first thing that comes in mind is actually the coffee. I smell the coffee. Good God, I'm hoping I am don't stay up the entire night. I have plans this weekend. Wait a minute, is there caffeine in there? I don't even know. <laughs> if you know, let me know. Did you try it before? If so, let me know how you liked it. I'm very... I like stouts, I like porters. But I don't like it as much where I'm eager to jump into it and let's go having a drink. I like to be nice and I'll let, ease into. So um, earlier was earlier no. Oh yeah, it was actually New Year's Eve when I had my last live stream. I did a review with Greg Spear and he tried a Faunus KBS and it is delicious. You know, like according to him, it's like a and so today I went to store, I want to try it out. As I said in my live stream back then, it's like, I'm going to try it out. So it's like, hmm, good idea. Let's, let's go and take a look. Number four, I found out KBS has multiple beers. It's from Founders, KBS, like the one with espresso, one normal, and one Mackinac Fudge. Now, of course, the only beer they didn't have on, uh, in the store was the Mackinac Fudge, what I, re uh, what I reacted to. So, dang it! Can you believe this? Is I, I was not happy about it whatsoever. So, so this guy, I decided, okay, let's try a different founders. Founders is probably pretty good company. Group play good, good beer. So, I have the underground mountain for them. So, let's try it out. And by the way, like because I'm testing today, if for some other reason you see this picture lagging. Let me know in the chat because I might have to fix it. But keep, uh, let me up to, uh, keep you up to date on this one. Oh wow, this is actually oh my! I really say that is really good beer. It's very strong flavor on. It's very strong flavor. With oh, oh I'm sorry, I, I thought it's uh, shareable. Um, sorry, I um, I just see a comment on my Facebook post. Um, uh, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, keep me to just hang on tight. Sorry guys, I know it's not something I should do while I'm doing a live stream. Uh, yeah. Oh. 
Never mind. Okay. I'm back. My apologies for waiting, guys. Apologies. But I just had, uh, I just had, uh, because uh, this uh, live stream, I make uh, advertise it on my Facebook page. And somebody was asking me to make it shareable because I'm not tech savvy. I'm not so good in with Facebook, even if it's everybody's life nowadays. But I wasn't sure how to do shareable because I could see it. But apparently, the, I only had it for friends only, not for the public. So I had to fix it. But either way, like it is, um, this beer is actually really good. That I'm tasting the uh, strong of a coffee flavor to it, and it gives you right like a crisp flavor to it. I mean, it is like for being 11 percent. I hate to be that guy. I hate to be that guy. I hate to be that guy. But um, it is better than um, the dragon's milk. I am very fortunate to can say, hey, I live close by New Holland's Brewing Company. But it is actually very... Hey, sorry, Eric. <laughs> hey, hey, Eric, thanks for coming to my, to my live stream. Soft Parade? What do you, uh, you mean by the Soft Parade? Oh. Yeah, I, again, you know, that's the thing. Like, I mean, I've had a drinks book for so long, that, and I like all kinds of uh, drinks books. But this is the first time I'm trying the Underground Mountain Brown. Got the same, same amount of alcohol, 11.9% alcohol. Uh, but it feels like it's uh, uh, the founders is a bit more drinkable, more easy to drink. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of shorts uh, brew before. Like I've done actually just uh, uploaded yesterday a video from shorts, but I do a lot more shorts because I'm a big fan of shorts. So I'm I'm definitely going to uh, look around to see if I can get more shorts uh, from sh shorts brew for sure. But this founders here is actually really good. So let me just give it take a look. Uh, I think I only had. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Yeah, I'll be mean, definitely. Then, like Eric, uh, what uh, something I'm planning is now uh, something I did this week is uploading every week a video, uh, every day. I'm, I'm sorry, and doing once a week a live stream. That is uh, what I'm trying. Today was for, for me a testing period because I want to make sure my software is working. Um, I tried a new software out for this uh, purpose, so that's why I want to check it out. So far, unless you guys tell me something different, it works pretty good, in my opinion. But um, I'm trying a lot of different things out, but definitely either Thursdays or Fridays will be my time. I will be live here with you guys. And I'm having a blast, especially when I see all you guys um, interacting with me. I'm, I'm definitely very hyped on this one. I could do it all night long, but then uh, I'm running out of beer pretty fast and I don't have much more beer left. <laughs> no, but the, for sure, like uh, I definitely do a lot more. Um, shorts will coming 100%. No, like uh, as I said yesterday, no, was yesterday or the day before yesterday? I don't have to double check right now. I don't know of my head right now, but I had to actually the shorts brew heaven sent. What was formerly known as uh, the loud beer was actually really good. Now, if you have not uh, watched it yet, after this live stream, go to my channel. First of all, subscribe to my channel, please, if you have not done yet, and take a look at it. And, uh, like I'm very, very proud of the, my new videos I'm doing lately. So they definitely give me some feedback if there's some improvement going on. But uh, I'm growing and growing, and I want to bring my community a lot more than I had at the beginning. So, like, definitely the Shorts Brew Heavens scent was actually a. I hate to do it blasphemy, but it is actually a Heaven scent um, beer. It was really good. It was really impressive, and I liked it. Yeah, but uh, I have so many different beers already on my channel. Yeah, so, give it a try. Take a look around. 
thanks my man i appreciate that, that my reviews are great uh, i'm definitely um had my issues at the beginning i i granted that because i'm learning every day basically but i'm very happy how it goes right now so i cannot wait to continue more and more grow my community and, uh, if you have not done yet please follow my me on my my discord i want to create a community where people can learn more about different beers I want to people go to a bar and know what they're buying and not just going with Budweiser or so. I want to know what kind of beer they're getting. So that is, that's my, uh, my goal with beer chat. So help me grow my community. I appreciate everything you guys do, for, uh, do. And I'm very happy to be here for you guys on my first live stream, my weekly live stream, by the way. Oh, my. Yeah, it is definitely a beer. Don't uh, chuck it down. This definitely with 11.9%. 11 it's a beer you you want to stay mellow. You want to stay uh, zip it and enjoy night. You know, and I have it just slightly cooler than uh, room temperature. Not a whole lot, just slightly, and it fits perfectly. The like temperature is right how for I would like to drink my like stouts porters or bourbon barrel beer that so for the imperial brown it's definitely a perfect temperature i have right now yeah but uh, i definitely uh drink more of those it's very nice dipping if, especially in the cold weather so with that being said ladies and gentlemen thank you so I think uh, it's coming. We're coming to an end because uh, I uh, we had no idea we are. It's already this late already. Plus, I don't have any more reaction videos or more beer, so I'm running out myself. But uh, definitely follow me on my social media. I have beer chat or uh, on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter too, and come to my Discord. There, I will have. Uh, after the live stream, I will have all the, the links in the description below as well. That's so for for future references. But I'm I'm definitely hoping I will see you guys later, uh, again next week and come on back when uh, when I'm coming uh, with new videos. It should be every day, and I'm always shooting around noon. So if you get it, watch it. I'm watching it for sure. Thanks so much for joining in, and you have a wonderful night.